Hello friend, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss what the differences between average, average O and average X by using Power BI. So here I am going to use the source Microsoft SQL Server and uh, there I am going to use the EMP table and this is the record inside EMP table. Now let's open uh, this Power BI desktop and uh, here this is the EMP table or uh, click this and let's uh, open click on data so this is the data inside EMP table now here let's click on new column so going to create the new column and here this is the column and uh, let's give uh, meaningful name so this that I'm going to use for average and let's use uh, average so here this is the about average return the average arithmetic mean of all numbers of the columns so suppose uh, or there I'm going to use uh, average on the cell okay cell so this uh, will take all the rows on the cell now here after let's uh, write average so this uh, at here arithmetic mean it take and average so it take or uh, uh, return average arithmetic mean of all the values columns it handle or uh, text or a string kind of value on not numeric values and here calculate the average arithmetic set of expression evaluate over or table so this is now here after let's use first average so going to use the average on cell column and press enter so uh, first this add or total and total numbers of rows are 14 divide by 14 the value count 2073 so it's uh, calculated the average 2073 now here after let's uh, create a new column and uh, this I'm going to use for average uh, and write uh, av razor and here this uh, press enter and uh, here I'm going to use the uh, sal. Now press enter. So here you can see the same value. It's so uh, come at this place, the same. Now click this. And suppose if you give uh, here or uh, at this place, so let's give uh, e name. So e name is the uh, or uh, non numeric. So by using average, so it returns zero. But if I try to give uh, enum at this place, e name. Now press enter. So it uh, return error. So with average, when you uh, pass uh, a string kind of uh, values, then that return error. But uh, with average. Or uh, that return zero, and uh, let's use uh, let's create one more column, and uh, this is for average x. Going to write average x. Now let's write uh, average and uh, at this place we need to give a uh, table name so here I'm going to use EMP table name and expression so in expression going to use the cell column the so EMP cell now press enter so it will also create here this is the average now if I'm going to give uh, at this place or uh, a string value enum now press enter so here you can see or uh, this also return error 
so with average and average x that return error and the average of that to return 0 if you pass a string value so this is the difference and here average that to take only one uh, parameter only one and uh, average x that to take two and uh, let's uh, uh, do one thing now hereafter I am going to create uh, measure so right click on uh, EMP new measure so measure it's uh, created now or uh, the next uh, here let's use uh, average and uh, average is going to create on our uh, cell so this is measure one so there I'm going to use average and uh, new measure once again So they are going to use average A and uh, let's write uh, sum. So uh, measure to average uh, and measure that is for average. Now one new measure. So going to write here average X. Now here EMP table name and uh, let's give sum so three measure that uh, created now here after uh, let's go to this place and uh, check the checkbox of uh, uh, first I'm going to check the checkbox of measure so this is for average and this is for average A and this is for average X and here after let's uh, select uh, this option multi row card and uh, make that bigger so it's uh, calculated the average measure that is for average 2072 and uh, here measure uh, 20732 so it's all returning same values but when i'm going to uh, check the measure on TPT number so TPT number here so about to uh, measure that uh, I just uh, check uh, TPT number and here you can see the measure that written 2916 and uh, this all and here 20 2175 2175 2175 and uh, 30 1566 so it's all returning the same values so here let's uh, make uh, order by dpt number and uh, here so first uh, when you use this like uh, measure and uh, use uh, dpt number so dpt 10 that make uh, in one group and after that this will add and divide by 3 20 that make uh, one group and add the salary divide by 5 like this 30 make one group and uh, it add and divide by 6 like this if you want to uh, check uh, average average a average x on job so let's uh, make a uh, uh, job on order by so here this is analytics so here this will uh, average 3 3 or uh, 6 and divide by 2 that come 3000 and this is the 4 so it of uh, add 4 and divide by 4 so we can uh, make uh, group by so let's uncheck this and uh, let's uh, select uh, job now here you can see this is the average measure this is for average and here or uh, here you can see this is the percent 
and here this is the clerk measure 1037 and uh, here this is the salesman and here this is the analytics so analytics that are 336000 and divide by 2 that come 3000 okay so this is the measure measure 2 measure 3 and uh, measure measure 2 measure 3 and this is that make percentage in one group analytics one group manager salesman in one one group after that it's calculated the average and the main difference between average and average x and average a so average average of that handle very well a string value that return zero but uh, that uh, uh, when you are trying to use uh, this uh, average so that return error average x that return error average so uh, that average and average of that accept only one parameter average x that accept more than two parameter so this the key differences there so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you